Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to clip your hair extensions seamlessly. So if you have very short hair like I do, this is going to change your hair extension game like crazy. And you're gonna avoid that question people always ask, are you wearing hair extensions? So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with a three clip weft. Very important to start with the three clip one. We are going to tease that hair around the neck area. Very important to start right there. As you guys can see, I just clipped that first section right at the base of the neck or at the top of the neck. This is going to give you a clean look. So I'm gonna show you what happens if you go above that area when you have short hair like I do. So I don't have anything on right now and I'm going above that first area I showed you guys. And this is going to reveal all of the small hairs like you guys can see here. It's going to be very noticeable that you guys are wearing hair extensions so avoid that at all times. This is what the back looks like, it looks messy. So I would always go from the bottom all the way to the top when I clip my extensions, as you guys can see here. Um, I think the majority of the people do it this way as well. And this, is, this was my first mistake. Also for the front area, um, I always go with the uh, one clip widths when I work with the front as you guys can see here but I would go around the temple area and then a little uh, further from the perimeter of my face this created like a I mean as you guys can see here it didn't add length to the front of my hair and as you guys can see I've clipped all of my hair extensions and you can see what mess this is even if i tried curling this area very well i would have hard i would have had a hard time blending everything together this is what the back looks like look like you can definitely see the hair extensions and my hair so it doesn't look natural and it's very obvious that i'm wearing hair extensions so um, now I like to work from the top and then I go down so I section this mock section and with this comb I tease the hair around that area but look how high up I'm going don't be afraid to go high I know I'm with you when you have thin hair you're afraid that your hair extensions are going to peek through but I promise you it won't so make sure you really take your time teasing the hair, creating texture because the clip is going to grab onto the hair and it won't slide or move around uh, the hair. So first clip right above that temple as you guys can see. And I'm going pretty close to the front of the hair. Uh, make sure you wiggle the clip in there so it grabs onto the hair. So look at that. It's super clean. It's laying flat on my head. Same thing on the other side. So next two clip width. Very important. Small. It's preferably two clips. I think is the perfect size. So again, I make sure I lay those clip clips flat on to my head. Then I go a little lower, still above the temple, very important because you want to hide the small, the short hair. So right below, above that temple, below the first section, above the temple. Again, second step is to um, um, what's it called? tease the hair. And here I go with the three clip width. So I go all around my head, even the back. I didn't show you guys, but I do have clips in the back area as well. And I also keep it uh, very close to the perimeter of my face. Already you guys are seeing the big difference right here because the hair is laying on top of the short hair and not under the short hair, if you guys know what I mean. So here I started uh, sectioning the hair, but I went too low. So here I'm around the temple area. And I have the five clip width here. It's the longest uh, that I have because that, that goes around the head perfectly. And uh, yeah, that is it, you guys. This is all the clips uh, put on. So you can 
take everything down don't uh, undo the mohawk section just yet because i'm going to show you we're not done with that so already you guys what a big difference like here i'm very comfortable wearing these hair extensions because nothing peeks through so that mohawk section again we are going to tease that area very very well you guys the teasing is the key here because it adds texture and your hair doesn't move as much so if there's a lot of wind outside and you have texture in the hair it won't move as much as sleek thin hair if you know what i mean i go in the back area as well so this is going to hide those clips we uh, put on the top as you guys can see so just grab a small section of hair and tease 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 and then you can brush the hair placing it where you wish so the hard part is all done it is super easy anyone can do this um, if you have short hair long hair it doesn't matter if you follow these steps you get flawless looking hair like here so i'm going to show you how i style it all right, so now that we've installed our hair extensions nicely, we can go ahead and uh, curl it. I would suggest to curl your hair extensions before applying them. I never do that, but I know it's a lot easier. This could stay, you can curl this alone, so it, it gives you kind of like a little bang. That way you can have like a short little uh, section of hair here on the front and then you just grab sections of hair and it's a lot easier to blend in I like to always comb the hair through and I also like to keep the top pretty straight so I'm not going all the way to um, the top to curl my hair so if you have very short hair i would maybe avoid um curling your hair too much otherwise it, it's going to stick out so if you have small little hairs like that you can leave it straight and kind of just blending it there so uh like i said you can leave this kind of straight and just go in the bottom i cannot curl my hair without a glove that's it's impossible i just because i like to touch the wand every time that i so um you can do something like so you see that's my hair sticking that through and you don't want that so so there it is. It's like meshing together. I'm not going to do my entire head. I just want some waves. If you if you want, you can uh, curl towards yourself. That's another tip because um, your hair is go your short hair won't flick as much. It'll just bind to the hair extensions all right guys so this is the end result as you guys can see it is super blended um it looks a lot more natural and uh i can actually go out in public with my hair extensions and they're not visible make sure you tease that crown very very well that's why second day hair is better because it's easier to create texture so of course you might you might see little strands of hair here and there but it's not going to be as noticeable and in your face it's definitely going to be a lot more muted and uh, more natural looking so i love these extensions because they actually add uh, highlights to my hair as you guys can see i have uh, black hair so adding uh, extensions like these it's a fun way to just change your look and i'm gonna link these down below they're okay i have some melting situation on my barrel so i don't like that but they're cheap um i got it off of amazon actually a company sent them to me so that is it for today you guys uh take care thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video Mwah.